Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Sincerely Jacqueline. Today I have three Dollar Tree DIYs inspired by West Elm and Anthropology. I hope you enjoy them. If you do enjoy this video, please subscribe, hit the alarm button for future videos, and let's get started. For this DIY, you're going to need a glass vase, some wooden beads, You're gonna need painter's tape and some spray paint. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is tape off the bottom half of your vase. Then you're gonna to wanna to spray paint it gold. Then originally I was using three, but I found that I didn't really like the look, so I actually used smaller beads and four of them and you're gonna attach them to the bottom of the face. And guys, that's it. And here's the finished product. I really love how the vase uh, came out. It really reminds me of Anthropology or even West Elm um, vases that they have. And I think it turned out really well. So for the next DIY, you're going to need a wooden uh, frame from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree cutting mats and they come two in a package. Then you're gonna need this gorgeous tissue paper that I found at the Dollar Tree, but you essentially could use any tissue paper you'd like. Now initially what you're gonna to wanna to do is fold your cutting mat in half and cut along the half. Then you're gonna to wanna to measure out the cutting mat to your wooden plank or your wooden frame. And here I'm just marking it. You wanna be really accurate with this because if you miscalculate, your plastic piece will not fit on in the wooden frame. You're gonna to wanna to fold your plastic chopping mat into this kind of cube shape. And I'm just checking here that it fits inside. Then you're gonna use your extra material from your cutting mat and you're gonna cut one last piece. And I'm gonna attach that piece with some tape. And there you have it, four sides. And to attach the last side, I'm just gonna use some tape. And there's my daughter trying to help me out as well. So when you're done, you're gonna have something that looks like this. And as you can see, it fits pretty good inside our wooden block. Then I'm just taking some Mod Podge and very, very carefully putting on my tissue paper. You wanna be very delicate with this because the tissue paper can potentially rip. And again, you wanna be really careful flattening it out and getting rid of all the bubbles. And right here, I'm just trimming, trimming the excess tissue paper. So what you wanna do is take your wooden frame and I decided to attach some feet. So what I did is take some of the wooden beads and attach it to the bottom of the frame. I'm just doing a pretty rough estimate, but if you wanna be technical, I would suggest measuring. And now I'm just gluing all four wooden beads to the bottom of the wooden frame. Now you wanna take your, I would say your lampshade that you used the tissue paper on and you wanna fit it into your wood frame. So 
So to complete this DIY, I decided to use an LED light from the Dollar Tree. I would only suggest using these LED candles instead of real ones. And there you go, you are all complete with this DIY. And as you can see, this DIY turned out so well. And here is a view when it is night out. And I hope you really enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed it. So on to our last DIY, our hanging terrarium. So what you're gonna need is a baking pan or some type of pan from the Dollar Tree, some foam, I had some extra ones laying around. Then you're gonna need some faux succulents. I got these from the Dollar Tree. And you're going to need some other plants and you're gonna need the cutting board again. So the first thing you want to do is take your foam and you're gonna wanna trace it. So you wanna trace it into a half moon. And you want that piece to fit into your pan. So I had to make mine a little bit thinner. So you will want to use a thinner foam. As you can see, it was not easy cutting, but if you'd like, you can use an X-Acto knife as well. Please be careful when you're doing the step. Then you wanna take your clear cutting mat and measure half of the pan. And you wanna make sure that it covers your foam piece. So then you're going to want to cut out your clear chopping mat and you want to make sure that it fits perfectly on top of your pan. So you're going to need some floral moss and then I'm just using some double sided tape to attach the floral moss. If you're gonna be using a glue gun, I suggest using low, a low heat glue gun and being very careful not to melt the foam. And as you can see, my assistant is right there assisting me. And what I'm doing is a very thin layer of this floral moss, but you can use any type of moss. Or if you'd like, you could also paint the foam with brown paint or black paint to look like soil. Then you're going to want to take your succulents and you're gonna to wanna to insert them into the top of your foam. I'm not using any particular pattern. I'm just randomly inserting all the succulents that I have. You're also gonna want it to insert um, your hanging plant. I think the hanging plant kind of provides some dimension. Now, as you can see, there were some white bits that I missed with the floral moss. So I'm just using a paint brush and adding and filling in the white gaps. Then you're gonna wanna take your clear chopping mat that you cut out and you're gonna to wanna to attach it on top of your baking pan. A side note is, I found that the glue gun wasn't the best for this project. I found that it kept lifting up. So in the end, I did enforce it with some tape and some regular uh, E6000 glue, but it will take a little bit longer to dry. So after gluing the chopping mat to the front of the pan, I realized that the glue was showing through and I really didn't like that look. So later on, I actually went back and spray painted the um, edge of the pan on top of where the chopping mat was. So that's why you see that gold rim around there. I think it made all the difference and covered up all the glue. So I masked off the area with some tape and newspaper 
and created a gold border. So to hang this, I just used some command strips and there you have it. You have your DIY hanging terrarium made from Dollar Tree items inspired by some things that I saw on the West Elm site. All the items that I use for the three DIYs will be in the description box, so please check that out. And please don't forget to head to my blog at www.sincerelyjacqueline.com. I am so happy with how it turned out. And if you liked the DIYs that I displayed here today, please let me know in the comment section which one that you liked. And please subscribe and hit the alarm bell for, for notifications on my next video. I hope to see you at my next video and thank you guys so much. Bye.